Today I'm out at Dr. Jessica Bourdon's podiatry office. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you so much for having me. You call yourself a functional podiatrist. What do you mean by that? I love this new term that I feel like I coined but probably didn't and that would be functional podiatrist. And there's a number of things that I mean by that. Because I specialize in sports medicine and see so much pain, I truly believe that if we gave our foot the natural health that it needs and restore that and we wore proper shoes and that doesn't mean supportive shoes, just proper shoes that we wouldn't have as much pain as we do. And so let me go into a little bit of detail about that. We were born with our toes spread apart and over time, tapered shoes and compression socks and athletic socks will shape our foot. And I'm not talking about just high heels. I'm talking about even traditional athletic shoes. And so if we have that tapered toe box, that's gonna squeeze our toes together, shorten our plantar fascia. If you add some tight socks to that, it's going to even make it worse. And over time, you'll see the shape of your foot change. This can lead to your plantar fasciitis. This can lead to your Morton's neuroma. And so what we need to do is get your toes spread back out where they are happy. We need to strengthen that foot up. We need to stretch out those extensor tendons in order to get the natural foot position back into more functional health. And that's why I like the word functional podiatrist. There are shoes that are better than others. And let's talk about an athletic shoe right now. So when I'm talking to my patients about athletic shoes that they need, there's a few things that I describe. The first one is they need a wider toe box. And this isn't necessarily a wide size. This is actually the shape of the toe box needs to be the shape of what your foot is supposed to be like. That's gonna give your toes room. The next thing is it needs a zero heel drop. Most of the shoes we're in have a heel drop, so it's elevated at the heel. And what that does is it actually will compensate our bodies, shorten our posterior chain, and then eventually can cause pain even in the back and the hips. So you want a leveled shoot. The next thing is, is you want to try to avoid a toe spring. So when your shoes have a toe spring at the end of them, and there are some very popular shoes that have more aggressive toe springs, you're actually going to shorten the front part of your leg, those muscles and tendons, that's going to contract your toes and cause hammer toes and even perhaps shin splints. And when you wear these type of shoes over time, the ones that we're all used to wearing, then that's gonna cause deformity, hammer toes, bunions, morton neuromas, plantar fasciitis, et cetera. So it's extremely important that we focus on getting the muscle strength back into our foot and wearing the proper shoes. And as you can say, I'm not talking about support or orthotics. I'm talking about just the, the shoe our foot should really be in. So if somebody wants to contact your office, set up an appointment, or find out more about you and the practice, What's the best way for them to do that? You can call my office phone number at 830-500-3034. Fantastic information. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you so much for having me.